Constable Ricardo Williams, who died in a crash in Bogwak while rushing to seek medical attention, is laid to rest in Linstead St. Catherine. His colleagues remember him courageously fighting kidney disease. Even though he was suffering from a medical condition, Willie, as he was affectionately called, displayed extra, extra ordinary work ethics. For somebody to be on dialysis and not to complain an iota left something indelible in my mind. Constable Ricardo Williams is said to have displayed enormous courage in his battle with kidney disease, but it was not that ailment that killed him. It was a crash which unfolded on the night of March 3, 2023 in Bogwalk, St. Catherine. Reports are that Constable Williams's vehicle ran off the road while he was rushing from his home in Bogwalk to seek medical attention. He was pronounced dead at Linstead Public Hospital. During a police honours funeral, which was held at the Linstead New Testament Church of God on Saturday, April 22, the late cop's colleagues showered him with praise. They said he fought kidney failure well, never allowing it to cripple his work ethics in the Kingston Western Division where he was based. Even though he was suffering from a medical condition, Willie, as he was affectionately called, displayed extra, extra ordinary work ethics. He traveled from Bogwalk, whether day or night shift, and was never, never late for a tour of duty. On May 1st, Ricardo fell sick and was diagnosed with kidney disease. Regardless of being ill, his faith kept him in very high spirits. So much so that no one could tell if they weren't told. As he battled with his illness, he continued to encourage and laugh with others. At the time of his passing, he was a member of the Jamaica Constabulary Force, and we are deeply saddened by his death. For somebody to be on dialysis, and not to complain an iota left something indelible in my mind. I mean, I, I learned of this guy's sickness only on a sidebar. He, and he just spoke like it was a joke. <laughs> and he continued with the rest of his life and served. I mean, a lot of people would have made it on our cyclics, Karen. The guy has never found his way on our sick list. And he was sick. Commanding officer for the Kingston Western Division, Senior Superintendent Michael Phipps, who delivered the eulogy, said Constable Williams was born on February 22, 1992, in the Falmouth area of Trelawney. He was the second child and only son to parents Lauren and Norris Williams. He spent his early years in Orange, Orange Valley District, Trelawney. However, at the age of three, his parents relocated to Keith Hall District in St. Catherine. Constable Williams attended schools in Linstead, St. Catherine. His quest for a good education commenced in 1995 when he was enrolled at St. Dominic Preschool. He later attended the St. Dominic Prep and Charlemont High. While at Charlemont, Constable Williams was so good at playing cricket, he even mulled a career in it. But that was not to be. He enrolled at the Loadas Vale Vocational Training Center in St. Catherine, specializing in electrical installation. But his professional journey took him into a totally different field. He worked as a correctional officer and eventually as a police officer. At age 19, he served as a correctional officer at the Juvenile Metcalf Street Juvenile Center and shortly afterwards was recruited by the Jamaica Constabulary Force. There, he started his basic training and later graduated 
as a constable. Constable Williams enlisted in the police force on September 10, 2012, and he received three commendations during his 11 years of service. He served at St. Catherine North Division, as well as the Kingston Western Division, where he was stationed at Darling Street, Admiral Town, and the Tivoli Gardens Police Post. His duties ranged from routine policing to targeted operations. Senior Superintendent Phipps, like many others, spoke glowingly of the late cop. Today we celebrate the life of a remarkable young man, a man of strength, love, and kindness. He was a man of faith, courage, independence, and ambition, one that was filled with compassion and carefully managed. A virtuous family man, if one may ask. His adoration towards his daughters, along with his dear mother, sister, father, and extended family members, such as Aunt Carlet and Althea, Uncle Roderick, Mark, and Kevin. Constable Williams was said to be a firm believer in God, and that led him to being baptized on December 13, 2009, at Keith Hall Foursquare Church. Let's emulate his love, generosity, patience, personality, and his love for his job. Although we will not see him in this life again, he will always be in our thoughts. Thanks be to God, the morning light of peace. The remembrance was done in two parts, the first of which was presented by the late constable's only sibling, Shauna Williams Brown. She recalled creating fond memories and being protective of her brother during childhood. Growing up with Ricardo, it was a lot of fond memories. Uh, starting off having him as my one brother and only sibling, it was always a joy. Uh, memories such as, I remember I was very protective of him. Um, for example, I would, at school, I would check on him during our lunch breaks. I would, after school, get him, keep him with me until one of daddy's taxis came to pick us up and so forth. Uh, going on, our weekends were always filled with a lot of playing. We would play hide and seek, uh, uh, play hide and seek, climb the guava trees, play bottle football. Our Saturdays were always ended up with our famous dance-offs and playing dominoes with Uncle Juba, something that Ricardo mastered and stuck with him until his final years. She said her parents ensured that the late Williams, while growing up, was provided with all the things he needed and even things he wanted. Ricardo, into his teenage years, he became a man of dapper style. Right, he loved brands, especially when it came to his footwear. Right, the Desert Clarks, the Wallaby, the L Stitch. I learned to clean Clarks, although I've never owned one. Ricardo taught me all of that. Into our early 20s, one of my most cherished moments is when he became a warder. He would mock me, drill me with the shouts and the songs and one of the, the most memorable song was you join the water walk you join the water walk you da 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 you never get rich you join the water walk <laughs> right so those are memories that me and ricardo um shared over into our um earlier adulthood he became more of a a big little police brother to me, so the protective role switched. So he became the protector of, of me. Constable Williams was also said to be kind, jovial and humble. Ricardo will always be remembered as someone that was kind, um, something taught to us by mommy. He's, he was very jovial and most of all, Ricardo will be remembered for his humility, something that was instilled in him and by extension us by daddy. Wade Lewin, who did the second part of the remembrance, is still baffled by his close friend's demise. 
I, I never knew um, this day would come, you know. <laughs> but I, I try to record, um, remember Ricardo in, in fun memories um, since his passing. And um, as Latar mentioned earlier, Ricardo was one, you know, that, that is very kind, you know. And it's true, him loving Brandon, him always of clocks. I remember, I think the first clocks me wear is Ricardo give me. You know, it's a white, it's a white um, desert. No, it's a white wallaby. And we used to use, um, <laughs> he used to say, my youth, all this man, he used to say, the shoes are yeah, wear, you know what I mean? I say, I respect my general, you know? And this was from, this was from about grade eight, nine, somewhere there. I remember Ricardo give me one pants too, one green pants. I'm going to wear the pants, I'm going to wear the pants till they turn blue. <laughs> I love my friend, you know, I love my friend. He recalled playing cricket with Ricardo and other students back in high school. We met in grade seven, right? And we joined the cricket team. And some cricketers are here as well. Um, I'm sorry, they never get to do them a little part and tribute as well. But we remember Ricardo in fun memories. Is the fact that he was always a, a steady head person, you know? He's kind, and no matter which walks of life you come from, He's not a prejudiced person, you know. He might go treat you good if you treat him good. A good youth. Chairman of the Jamaica Police Federation, Corporal Rohan James, said he admired the late constable's honesty and willingness to share knowledge. He was one who epitomizes great courage. He was independent. And above all things, he has the attributes that have honesty, sobriety. And at all material times, he would be there lending a supporting hand to anyone whom he came in contact with. His knowledge of the profession was one that was at the forefront of everybody's mind and lips because he was never afraid to share his knowledge and his expertise in whatever era. Corporal James spoke directly to the bereaved family. Let me say to the family, take comfort that you have loaned a son, a child, a father, a friend to the people of Jamaica to whom he gave gracious service and above all things he stood tall and he did, he did it his way. He encouraged other people to honor Constable Williams's memory by joining the thrust to stomp out criminality. For those who have not partnered with us, it is indeed Williams's hope that they would now reconsider redefining their path in enhancing Jamaica's crime effort by lending the support to the Jamaica Constabulary Force so that Jamaica can be the place of choice to live, do business, raise family, because he himself has made it his way by playing a significant role in denting crime, criminality, and corruption. For those persons who are second-guessing, I would want to encourage you today lend that supporting hand because Jamaica is indeed a noble place that we can stand tall, stand proud, and we can achieve and maximize our true potential by advancing Jamaica's 2030 vision. It is possible. Williams dedicated his life to the people of Jamaica, and so too you can do it. Commissioner of Police Major General Anthony Anderson was absent from the Thanksgiving service due to what is said to have been a previously scheduled engagement. But he sent a tribute in which he expressed condolences to the family, lauded Constable Williams for his service, and encouraged more residents to help curb crime. In a tribute, the Kingston Western Division, where Constable Williams was stationed, described him as brave and honorable. Constable Ricardo Williams, a brave and honorable police officer. He has left us far too soon, and he took risk every day to ensure the safety and protection of the public. All his superiors and peers expressed satisfaction with his efficient contribution. He was well-mannered, 
He was a well-mannered individual who took great pride in his job and showed respect to each person he came in contact with. His commitment and dedication to serving his community and country was unwavering. Constable Williams's Kingston Western colleagues further stated that he loved cricket and enjoyed playing a good game of dominoes. But above all things, he loved his family, including his parents, Lauren and Norris Williams, and his two daughters, Tahari and Zakora. Beyond his duties as a police officer, Willie was a family-oriented individual who spoke without reservation about his two daughters and his love for them. He wanted, to be, he wanted to be the best father and a provider for them. Cinder Williams, a cousin of the deceased, told the congregation that the family is still struggling to come to grips with the loss. Our dearest Richie, your golden heart stopped beating, your hard-working hands at rest. With pride and dignity indeed, you serve this country well. But go now, Richie, be a servant of the Lord. But for your family, you will never ever part. Today your picture is on this program and we gather to say our final goodbye. There was also a floral tribute by Constable Williams' batchmates who also offered words of encouragement to the bereaved family. God is the center of everything and sometimes things happen. We, we don't understand why, we don't understand the way of it, but God is still in control. Amen. Other people who participated in the Thanksgiving service included the late Constable's aunt, Neslin Turner, who read the second Bible lesson, aunt Althea Turner Mackenzie, who performed a song, and Sergeant Sophia Bruce, who did the opening prayer. At the end of the Thanksgiving service, heavy rainfall left most people stranded, sitting on the inside, looking out. Paul Bearers and other police officers did not allow the rain to stop them from removing the body from the sanctuary. They placed it into the police hearse. Though many mourners were still sheltering from the rain, the officers went ahead with their colleague's body to Commodore Cemetery, located across from the church. By the time the rain subsided, the body was already placed in the grave and the formalities had started. People in earshot were encouraged to continue keeping the bereaved family in their prayers. We ask that in the days going forward that you continue to support them, whether by your presence or with your prayers, because they are going to need it henceforward. Thank you for your support, even amidst this inclement weather. We thank you for being here, and we wish you God's blessing as you find your way home, all right? So God bless you, everybody. On behalf of senior videographer Dean Alcott, I am Horace Mills, reporting from Linstead St. Catherine for the Jamaica Beacon.